Welcome back to the show. We're in full swing with baseball, and tonight we've got Chris uh, Cage and his pitcher, first base, second base, wherever you want to put him, senior Dalton Sisson. Coach, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for having us. Dalton, you too, man. Good to yes, see you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Coach, let's just start uh, with just give us a little bit of a summary, you know, up to this point. Uh, what what you like, what maybe you, you want to change for the Spartans? Um, well, we've got off to a pretty good start. Um, guys like this are hitting the ball real well um, at the top of our lineup. Uh, but uh, we found out some weaknesses when we're playing some good competition. We like to play, you know, as good a competition as we can, and that kind of exposes some things. And then we go back to practice and try to fix those things and hope they don't crop up anymore. But for the most part, it's been a, it's been a good start. Speaking of getting the bats going, I'll tell you a little funny story. So at the beginning of the season, you all hosted Christian County at home. I was out there on the platform in the outfield, and I had a ball come right over my head. It was actually, I was like, if I wouldn't have ducked for like two seconds, it probably would have hit me. But, I mean, it was a great line drive. It was out of bounds, but it's okay. But just moving forward from that, I mean, obviously getting those bats going, it's obviously creates runs and stuff like that. Just kind of emphasize just a little bit the importance of this team and how you all have come together. Uh, we really, the coaching staff I'll speak for is, uh, we, we really like this team, you know, and just honestly, sometimes you get some kids and they don't mesh very well or whatever, but so far we really like the character and the personality of this team and they bought into what we want for the most part hitting. Um, so, um, you know, we're, we're happy with them and, and they're swinging the bat well. Um, again, they buy in is the big thing. You don't want to just keep beating your head against the wall saying the same thing over and over again. So these kids are really uh, anxious to learn and they're, and they're applying the stuff that we're talking about and they're doing pretty well. Dalton, senior year, uh, last hoorah there for the Spartans. I know that's probably a bit emotional, maybe hadn't got to your mind as much yet, but it will at the end of the season. Um, 1.1 ERA, pretty good on the mound there. I'd love you to tell us what, what kind of stuff you got. Maybe you haven't shown it all yet, but I won't, I won't ask you to give up your secrets. Tell me a little bit about this team and, uh, you know, your idea about the Spartans. Hey, yes, sir. We have a great team. We're more as a family now this year. Last year we didn't have as many good team players. This year we're all buying in and making it work. And just kind of off that, I mean, you all had a – Big kind of rivalry game, I guess you could sort of say, against Warren East here recently where you all took that took that win. I mean, just what does that just mean for your team? Just kind of boost your confidence moving forward. I mean, you're going to go into a little bit of play here where you're playing some district teams kind of back-to-back in -back games uh, coming up. So what does that just mean moving into more of those – like home games to where you all have to play those like district matchups. Yes, man, that was a big win for us. It made our team come together more, and it's going to make us be a better team all, all together. Coach, um, I'd like to hear your answer to her question. Uh, well, Warren East, of course, is like one of the best teams in the region. Um, of course, there's, there's quite a few good teams that are going to be there every time. With And Greenwood's really doing well this year. Bowling yes. Green's always good. Um, so uh, anytime you can get a win against a quality team, you know, that helps your the kids again, you know, buy into the program, what we're doing that, you know, hopefully it's effective, but it's baseball. So, you know, we're, we'll see Warren East one more time this year and uh, it's a well-coached team. And uh, they, again, playing those kind of teams make you better for hopefully when you get to the district play. They've always been in our district, so it's very strange to play them as a non-district team. Mm -hmm. But it's it's good in, in a way, too, because it helps you get prepared for those uh, district games. I mean, we're already, like, into the play in April. Obviously, you have the rest of April and then a little bit of May. So it's kind of sort of – we're, like, right in the middle of play already. I mean, it seems like it just kind of started. But you have to be kind of quick on your feet and – what are those things that you kind of emphasize on those off days in order to prepare for the next matchup? Well, I'm out of luck as far as being quick on my feet. So I depend <laughs> on our assistant <laughs> coaches too. to figure this stuff out because we really actually as a group, we haven't even figured out necessarily all our, you know, who's pitching what game and, you know, who are the guys we're going to consistently. Uh, our batting order changes, um, but uh, we're still, you know, figuring stuff out. And it seems like we had a little bit more time this year with a smaller district, um, but we still are going into district play with some unanswered questions that we hope we answer those questions correctly. But we'll see. 
Dalton, what, uh, what's your favorite thing about baseball, man? I mean, you've been playing it a while. Uh, yes, sir. My favorite thing, just being out there, living in the moment, and having a good time with all of my teammates. That's awesome. So, Dalton, I guess I'll get your and coach's kind of perspective on this. I mean, because I was, like, just going through your schedule, kind of going off of that. I mean, but you all play Bowling Green one day, play them again the next, then it goes into Greenwood one day, then play them again the next. Do you think that – because not a lot of schedules are like that to where you play teams back-to-back -back days. So do you think that kind of helps in order to be able to, like, you play them one day, you learn a lot, you play again the next. And do you think that helps your schedule, like playing those teams back-to-back -back days? I feel like it does. I mean, we get to see what they have and come back the exact next day and feel like we can come up with a better plan to beat them the next time. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the way baseball should be, really. It really I, personally, I, I always vote for the three-game series in our district, mm -hmm. which we did for years and years, because that's baseball. You know, it's a true test of your full roster, right. not just one pitcher. So if, you just, if you're only playing one district game a week, you might roll out that same pitcher each time, and it's not really telling of your whole team. Right. And I think it also prepares us better if we can ever get out of this district and get to the region, the teams that have played those games back to back are, you know, have built a little bit more depth and then you might have a chance to be a little bit more successful in the region tournament. Dalton, you, you alluded to the fact that, that this team's like a family, you know, you guys are really, really tight knit bunch. Can you take that a step further? Tell me some kind of things. I mean, you guys hanging out a lot off the field. Uh, yes, sir. We had a lock in actually pretty recently. We all stayed all overnight in our new facility and we got to build really close together with that. And what would you say makes this team stand apart from everyone else, whether that's just your team as a whole, whether it's on the field, off the field, what makes this team specifically so special? I feel like we have a lot of confidence our confidence in every game that we go into, we think we're going to win every game. So as long as we go into it with our confidence, we'll be set for good games. Awesome. Well, guys, I mean, looking forward to the, the playoffs and some postseason baseball. Coach, I mean, what's some aspirations for this team? Oh, well, I mean, they, they'll determine it. We'll, you know, we set up the schedule for them. We try to give them some tips here and there, but they decide, you know, how far they want to go. And, and you know, the region – Everybody in the region, there's so many good teams in the region. I think it's kind of up for grabs for everybody, you know. But, again, with our district, it's one of the hardest districts in the state. So you've got to get out of the district first, and we'll see if we can do that. And, you know, I, kind of back our 2019 uh, season, which just three seasons ago since we lost one, um, you know, that was we won the region there. And, uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to defend the, the championship there because we lost the next year with, to COVID. But... Um, it's special when you win those kind of those big things, and, and you just want those kind of kids, you know, these kids like Dalton to experience that kind of thing. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it, and we're looking forward to how the Spartans do for the rest of this season. And we'll be right back with Sports Connection after the break.